Hello everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate a collision debugging system that I've worked on um, to test out my collision and make it more robust in, uh, for my game. In order to test out collision without a proper infrastructure, what you have to do is to literally just walk all over all over the map and see if it's solid. And testing is kind of it's not accurate and sometimes you think it works then it breaks down after you've, you've moved on to work on other stuff I don't really like that and that's why I've invest, invested some time to work on this debug infrastructure that does all of it automatically for me and can kind of help me record the inputs to reproduce the bug that I try to investigate so this is a rapidly exploring random tree the algorithm is very simple. I've covered it in my, in my blog. Here is just a demonstration of it, right? So even though it's only um, about 4,000 iterations, you can see a lot of, I've already caught a lot of bugs <coughs> here, right? So I say we can just pause here and what, we can, what I can do is click on the faulty uh, movement I can look at information here, not particularly useful. I mean, not useful when you compare it to what you can actually do with it, which is rerun the movement code inside a debugger, right? This is what we can do here. And that's useful. I can literally step through the code as if I just hit this situation, knowing that in the future, the mover will get stuck. If you're typing mover, literally it's stuck. I've recorded this information to um, reproduce bugs so I can fix, try to make adjustments to the algorithm that come back and compare if I fix the problem or not. That way I know for sure if the problem has been solved. Right, I think that's pretty useful. 